Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today I will be reviewing Crema Coffee out of Nashville, Tennessee. I am currently outside of their location on Hermitage Avenue, and I'm going to be trying a Columbia Rosales, and I believe it's a wash processed coffee. Let me go ahead and take a sip. All right, I don't have too, too much information on this coffee. It looks like it's not currently on their website. So uh, I guess we will just kind of um, go with what we have over here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about crema here in just one second. Uh, let me take another sip of this coffee. All right, so I have been to this location here before, uh, a couple years back as well. I remember not too much uh, exciting, not too much underwhelming. Um, decent looking shop, very busy, um, still busy right now. They only have a curbside pickup, which is, I think, the only place I've been to where you actually have to do it curbside. You have to stay in your car and they bring you your coffee, which, I mean, I'm fine with. I just wish I had a little bit more information on this coffee, I suppose. Um, they seem to be really highly rated in the city. I have seen them in places outside of Nashville, mostly in the south. Uh, the shop I went to earlier today also was using Crema. So I, I didn't actually uh, stop by and grab a cup of coffee, but um, Dose, uh, also here in Nashville, is using Crema and Counterculture. So, um, I mean, they have uh, quite a bit of prestige in this city. The only option online was a, uh, it looks like a batch brew option, I believe. They told me that they made me a pour over special, so I think that right now I'm just drinking. Maybe they didn't have a batch brew ready, so that's why it might have taken a little longer for me to get my coffee, but yeah, I mean, here we are. I, I feel probably pretty comfortable discussing this um, coffee specifically. And for me, it comes off uh, a, little, a little nutty, a little chocolatey, a um, little apple. Pretty... I would say straightforward washed in Colombia for me. Kind of uh, maybe some uh, subtle uh, cacao nibs towards the end. That's the type of finish I'm getting. Tiny bit of acidity. I think for the most part, it's a pretty well-rounded Colombia. Trying to think what that acidity might be coming from. There's definitely some honey to this as well. Uh, maybe some uh, wheat too. A little, I mean, it's. I think if you're familiar with washed Columbia's, you kind of have a sense of what I'm tasting right here. And there's definitely some sort of. Uh, definitely some fruit in there. Um, regardless, I think my thinking on this coffee is that it's fine. I. I've never really had anything from Crema that I've been blown away with, and I think I'm just going to stick with that here as well. This is, doesn't blow me away. I think that this is okay. Um, I probably wouldn't buy a bag of this coffee. It's just not my first choice. Uh, Crema is still... It, it goes in the recommend category um, for this coffee shop because I think that they have enough offerings and they have enough things. Maybe not at this moment, but usually that is worth exploring this coffee roaster for. And I think that justifies making this a recommend. As far as this coffee goes, it's just not for me. And this is another pass because while I think if you like a washed Columbia, this, this will be a washed Columbia. Very like chocolate nut, kind of uh, some subtle complexity and some other things, but nothing to like write home about, nothing that you're going to, that, nothing that's gonna blow you away very traditional is the word I would like to use for this. So this has been a review of Crema Coffee out of Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you for watching.